Hello guys and welcome back to the next episode of Avon Colony with me Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. Hola! And thank you as well for all the support you've been giving me on this series. Very much appreciated. So we are working up to reach 100 population but also growing 5 food an hour. The population's ticking away. We have been, look at this, this highway. It's a long way for people to walk isn't it? All the way out here. Do we actually have anybody living in here? We have 3 people in here. Powered on, no occupants unhappy, so that's good. Um, but we're almost out to the farming area, which is getting covered in snow as we speak. <laughs> Let's have a look. So, yeah, during the winter, that really changes, doesn't it? Let's grab a greenhouse. So, I mean, this is looking like a. I mean, it's giving me the not connected to colony message. Okay, well, we want to get over to there. So, I'm thinking. If we build up to here, let's have a look at that again. Ah, one too far. Okay, let's get rid of that one. And then build along here. Perfect. 3.9 barley. Yeah, so do they mind what food? They do not. I'm going to go for a greenhouse. Let's see what's going to give us... Oh, grief. Okay, we can't reach that far. So that was 3 or 4. 5.9, 7.4. That's looking better. Corn, not so good. Melons, rubbish. Quinoa, even worse. Rice, no. So broccoli, 7.4 rods. No, melons. Corn, broccoli it is. So I think we're going to go this one here. Where's the furthest we can go? 8.1, 6.4, 5.9. Yeah, this one here. The furthest one away that we can do. Let's see how that goes. And then hopefully... Let's have a look at this over here. Commute overlay. Everybody's happy about their commute. Good. How's everybody feeling? People are happy. Yeah, excellent. Um, housing overlay. Housing is fine. What's this one here? Oh, that's nearly full up. Okay, that's fine. But we're going to have a lot of farms and things going up here very soon. Yeah, plenty of power. Okay, let's see how this goes. Get some nice melons going. And hopefully that should be enough. That should give us enough to hit that target of five food an hour, if I understand the figures correctly. There's nothing in five food an hour. We're growing. What does it say? Oh, let's just turn that off. Close that. Right. What does this tell us? Thirty-three percent efficiency. Okay. Plus one point one broccoli an hour. We probably need more people. That's what it is. We're draining our water a bit. Water's adequate. Food is marginal. How's the trade going? We've got corn, we've got pasta, we've got ration packs. Got some quinoa. Quinoa. Rice we've got a lot of. Oh, how much gold do we have? Lots of gold. So that will keep going and ticking over. Right, let's change that back to corn again. So hopefully that's enough. We may eventually... No drones in range. Seriously? Oh, it's like, if I put it the other side, it would have been in range. Typical. Oh, well, if I have to have another one up here at some point for building further up, which I will do, we'll go and grab that. In fact, I could put one in, because we need to build up here anyway, so... Uh, we're not going to be able to reach anything else other than let's try and cover as much of this farm as we can and get that. So it really wants to be... bit further out, but I don't want to take up farmland. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Valuable farmland. So it needs to be there or here. Which it can't do. I'll just put it here. Yeah, that'll do. But, I mean, we're, it's probably going to struggle to get people in there. <laughs> we've got three people. What have we got? Plus 3.3 .3 broccoli an hour. Okay. So if we can get some more people in there... Let's maybe drop down our drone building. Oh man, we've got tons of power. Let's 
drop down that. How many extra has that given us? 4.3. Let's look at this one. Oh, no. Not enough. 285, 308. Yeah, there we go. We've done it. Excellent. 5.4 an hour. Cool. We're almost at the population of 100. Nice. Okay, we've got that. Got that. Objective complete. Nanites and beer. Hooray! Everybody hey, rejoices. Chief. I got a special objective for you. A research center. Mm -mm -mm. Only... Oh, in order to pick up the unidentified object, we need to construct a research center and upgrade to Tier 2. Only Tier 2 facilities possess the necessary equipment. Ah, okay. Uh, which one's that under? Research center, I can't remember. One of these. Mm -hmm. Research center Tier 1. Oh, and we've reached 100 people. Excellent. Requires 24 power. We're okay for power. It's the people that are more of a problem. I'm just wondering whether to put that down here somewhere. Because we have... We have a space. And we have the people. Let, let's plot that in there. I hope you're keeping the happiness of your colonists in mind. Yep. We're going to win a referendum. So getting people in and trading enough food. Food is low. Hmm. Water's adequate. It's our food that we need to keep an eye on. And we're only doing it by trade. We've got all the people in there. We can't upgrade it. We need another trade hub. We're not getting enough. Oh, it's this one here. Yeah, we need another trade hub for sure. Uh, I'm going to put that on the end here and put some more corridors on there. And then we can get two trades going. Oh, insufficient power. That's okay. We can... Fix that. There we go. So let's see. We want that for that, that for that. Okay. We need to balance things carefully here. We want to make sure we've got enough gold coming in. 399. And what is that taking per trade? 20. Okay. That's probably just sorted our food problem. I mean, what other food options do we have here? We could probably build another greenhouse. Can we upgrade this one? Oh, we can. Let's upgrade that first. Let's upgrade that one and then upgrade this to Tier 2 Research as well. 26 nanites. Yeah, that's fine. They're probably going to take more power, which means I probably need to add some more people in to here. I'll do that anyway. There we go. Research Centre is done. So what can we select? What is it in here that's going to help us pick up the thing? Oh, Calco Sludge. Oh, we'll come to that later. Because there's something we can use in the nanite processors. Calco Sludge. Yeah, there we go. To save using our golden Warriors iron. Warriors authorize me to give you a special mission objective. Acquire it with a construction drone. Let's look at the unknown object. Where are we looking? This is the unknown object. Oh. Okay. We've got to recover, so we've got to extend all that way. Good grief. Uh, do you know what? We're going to go as far as we can to there. This has food picking up. Still low. Have we got anybody due in? Oh, there we go. We do. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. That object. What is the object? I have no idea. Looks like a very... It's like in between these buildings here, isn't it? That is looking very weird, that object. Recover the object. We shall. And that'll be victory on this map. Well, that hasn't been too difficult, really. I mean, we're... F food is becoming marginal. I don't know where that's going to end up becoming a problem, but... Because we're not really getting people in as quick as I would like. Let's go straight for a tier to 15.1. Yep, let's do that. Let's get that built. Oh, they can come over and help. No, that's fine. Water is so much. Why has that suddenly gone up? 
We don't have steam recovery mode on, do we? We don't. Interesting. Okay, we need to get some more drones. Where's the furthest spot we can go is right there. Trade vessel, trade vessel. Food's gone up. Food's still marginal. Come on, guys. Seriously? Air quality population. Win the referendum. How's the happiness going? What do we need? We need... 50% of your colonists happy to win. I'm pretty sure we're okay. If we look at this one. Uh, nope, this one here. Morale, 73%. Crime and crowding. Oh, crime isn't something that we've dealt with. I'm not sure we're going to need to deal with that. Okay, let's build as far as we can again. Okay, can't go out there. Let's go to there. I wonder what this object's going to be. And we haven't seen any weird things going on, have we? Which is something that was mentioned to look out for. Oh, here we go. Plus five. Let's put another one of those in there. Maybe that's doing okay. Let's speed this up. We've got more gold out here as well that we can that we can mine if we need to. Okay, there we go. Let's stick another drone hub in the nook. These alien looking flowers as well. Glowing in the dark. They look fantastic, don't they? Okay, more drone hopscotch in to get there. The thing I worry about most is the food. Oh, food variety, excellent. That's good. Marginal, adequate. Water's marginal, adequate. Maybe we can get here before it becomes a problem. And are we going to have enough workers <laughs> to occupy all these things? Quick sip of tea. Are we getting any workers coming in here? I bet we're not. Are we near enough to get that? Cannot reach. Can be acquired with construction drone, transferred to a tier 2. Yeah, we know about that. Okay, they can't acquire workers. Let's drop that down. Not acquiring workers. Minerals. Oh, man. This is where the problem is. I forgot. We need a mine over here. Super quick. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, it's not even gonna let me do that. Um, 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 um. I need to take some workers out of something. Okay, taking them out of there. Taking them out of there. Uh, low occupancy. We want more people further on. That's dropped down. Do we have workers in here yet? None. <gasps> okay, that's not got many people in. Iron mine, you probably have more iron than we know what to do with. Let's have a look. Iron. Do we not have any iron at all? We've got plenty of nanite, so it's not worry about that. Oh, we've got a person. Quick, get a mine in. Requires 10 workers, requires 10 workers. They all require 10 workers. Let's do that. Oh my goodness. Come on, let's... I saw a nice angled version. There we go, that's what I want. So we could actually run out of food. Oh, we've got more food coming in. I mean, there's nothing else we can use gold for, so... I mean, we could export iron. But we don't seem to have any iron at the moment. Because we're, all we're doing is making nanites. And I don't need that many nanites. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to... Process iron. I'm going to turn this one off. Can I just shut it down? Can't deactivate. While zone has sufficient power. Okay, I might want to choose the activator, but it won't let me. And then can we carry on building out here? What do I need to actually do to get to that? Construction drones. Oh, right, okay, I need to have drones close enough to... to do it. Where's the air of effect? It's hard to see, isn't it? Aha, there we go. Oh, just outside... 
So I'll go up a little bit like that. Insufficient housing. Okay, well, we need a habitat up this end of the woods. So I'm going to put... Apartment or habitat. Let's put a habitat up here. Somewhere. Um, is that still building? Yeah, it's still building. I want it a bit closer. Oh, we could put it there. There we go. Let's do that. Yep. 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 Is this working? Nobody here. There we go. People at the gold mine. Phew! Storage is filling up. Do you know what we could do, actually, is we could get rid of some water if that actually fills up. Because we don't need that much water. We've got tons. So, let's worry about that in a minute. I just want to build this thing up to here. Mm -hmm. let's speed this up a bit. Get our drones ready. So, I mean, that, that would put it in the area, wouldn't it? To be honest, that can that can do tunnel. Let's cancel that one. I think that's it, isn't it? Let's get this done. <gasps> My goodness. It's like talk about juggling the people. Yay, there we go. Insufficient power. <laughs> okay, let's just slow things down a minute. Fifty percent efficiency. Let's open that up a bit. Four sixty six. What do we actually need? Four forty. Yep, that'll do. As soon as that's done, we can pick this up. I'm assuming whether there's people in it or not. I don't know. Let's find out. Can we get that mysterious object? I wonder what it's going to tell us when we pick it up. Uh, storage is full. Okay, yeah, I'm going to... Shift, click to destroy 25. Let's just get rid of a load of that. Just to give us a few minutes of pick up. Here it goes. Oh man. We're scanning it. Oh, we've got it. Got a message over Shine. You've analyzed the structures, Chancellor. We'll we run have. the data through our pattern analysis software and hopefully it will lead us to further discoveries. Calandra, you online? I'm on, Commander. Jack, what about you? You on? Reporting. Good. We're all here. Okay, guys, I've looped the Chancellor in on the comm channel as well. Calandra, can you tell me what you saw in Sandy Gulch before you were knocked out? I don't remember anything. Wow, really? You don't remember anything? The last thing I remember is walking around in that hole and then waking up in the medical center down the hall. Okay, before you got knocked out, you contacted me over the comm channel and you said there was, quote, a situation and that you saw something. Do you remember what it was that you saw? Nothing. I I'm sorry, no. Uh, what about that cube? They found you with a cube in your hand. How did you get that? I don't remember at all. It must have been the concussion. That can happen when you get hit hard enough. Well, let us know if you remember anything. Jack, what's the progress of your analysis of that cube that Calandra found? I've been using our pattern analysis software to decode it. I picked up a few tantalizing clues. It seems to contain some sort of a history of an alien species. Ooh. I can't quite make out their name, but it sounds like they were a lot like us. They started to learn science, build computers, but they also had wars and famine and things like that. And that species used to live on Avon Prime? I think so. I'm really not sure yet. We're only scratching the surface. Okay, keep digging. Because if they lived there then, then maybe they still do. Oh, so man. From what I can tell, they call themselves the people who changed. And the chapter I decoded refers to an event called The Message. It has something to do with an extinction event. Wow. So they went extinct? Is that why they're not here anymore? I don't really know. That's as far as I got. I expect progress will pick up as the pattern recognition algorithm picks up more of the alien language. Understood. Keep working and report back to us once you find out more. Victory! Ah, oh, we've only got 17% on the research. I was hoping we could actually finish the research and see what that was. But we got victory on this map. Fantastic. That wasn't actually too difficult, considering that was a bit of a change to the sort of, um, sort of strategy we had to do. That wasn't too bad, was it? So, very good, very good. Everybody ended up... We ended up with tons of stuff in the end, didn't we? Health was good, morale... Excellent. Well, why don't we have a look and see 
what the next challenge is. Let's go back to the main menu. Yes. There we go. New, yeah, thank you very much. So let's try a new Welcome game. We've got Halar's Crescent. You've been granted Another new object has been revealed. You will need to build a large agricultural colony. Extend it around the Great Central Lake to reach the, the object. System. Then it's we cover small, and study it. And it's no wow, that'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to doing that one. So let's launch York. this and give it a start. Hyla's Crescent. So we've gone from not being able to do anything, well that looks beautiful, not being able to do any agricultural stuff at all, to now having to make sure we rely on agriculture the whole time. So, Hylas Crescent. Well, that looks nice, doesn't it? Geothermal vents. Here we go. Let's have a quick look around. Let's see. I always like to do the resources overlay first. Iron, iron, iron. Geothermal vents. Oh, stuff over here. Geothermal vent, iron deposit. So this is the way we're going. Potash by the look of it. Yeah. Where's the unidentified object? Is it all the way over here somewhere? Not entirely sure. But look at this. Isn't this lush? Lush and beautiful. Maybe we'll, we'll learn where the object is as we go along. There's a thing to pick up there. Okay. And let's just see what we have. So we've got construction drone hub, solar panel modules and things, oxygen regen, life support and storage. Okay. And there's everybody busy wandering around. Have we only got one person? Oh, everybody's busy working apart from that one person. Okay. Welcome. Your colonists have been informed of your arrival and are eager Good. to see what their leader can do for them. We've identified the presence of an alien artifact here on the Hylus Crescent and High Command has given specific instructions to acquire it. The location is excellent for building an agricultural colony. After that, we can acquire the artifact using construction drones. This will be a very large colony. So let's begin by increasing our energy supply. Okay, let's just have a quick look at farming. So everywhere is good for farming. Fantastic. Well, let's do what it says. Let's build a solar panel. Now, we've got 255 nanites. We never tend to be... That it doesn't seem to be a benefit to building one of these straight off as opposed to up, just upgrading it. So, uh, do we have... We've got this solar panel here. Let's pop it next to that one. There we go. Keep things neat and tidy. Excellent. Get some extra power. 22 out of 30. Population, average happiness 51%. Got 11 people unhappy. Why would you be unhappy on a beautiful place like this? Good grief. This place is amazing. Your oh. colony could benefit from a higher level of food output. Okay, you want 10 food per hour. I have a request for you from the inhabitants and the water of the pump. Okay, well maybe we'll do the water pump first. Let's have a look. So we can get 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. That music then started to sound like it was going to be Star Trek. Oops. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's, it's annoying that you can't tell which ones are going to give you more. Um, I'm just wondering whether... If that's a 0 0.8, 0 0.7... Just to stick it there. There we go. Let's do that. Good, good. I mean, man, just look at it. Just look at it. That is lovely, isn't it? Love oh, that looks even better. Look at that. Iron deposits. Weird things in the background. It's like a No Man's Sky scene. It's looking lovely. So, food income to 10 an hour. Okay, what do we get for doing that one? Two nanites and six bread. Well, thank you very much. So, farms. I don't know what the winter's going to be like here. Game is currently playing. Um, quick sip of tea again. I'm assuming we are going to get a winter. But let's get some farms going. What is going to be good for growing here? So barley, three, four. Broccoli, we're getting a few fives. Corn, a few fives. Melons, sevens. 
Okay, quinoa, not good. Rice. So we're living off melons, folks. Let's have a look. So if we expand just out that way a bit, we've got the vent that we'll be coming up against. Let's have a look. 7.2, 6.7. I mean, this looks like a good enough spot. We've got a few good ones around here. So let's plonk it there. Let's maybe upgrade our drone hub so we can get things going a bit quicker. Ten an hour, so we're probably going to upgrade this a few times. Okay, what does that give us? Winter warning, farms, not greenhouses. Oof, yep, okay, that's fine. So I can have a greenhouse as well as this. Oh, it's paused. Now, let's upgrade that. It's going up, it's going up, it's going up. Five, three, five, four, we're doing well. And I'm going to stick a greenhouse in. I'm assuming we're going to have melons in the greenhouse as well. What was the next best one? Barley, not so much. I'll probably just tell by the colour of the green. What is that one? Rice. I think we'll go for a rice as well. If we put that right next to here. This one can always expand over there. Yeah, let's go for that as well. Thank you. Winter is coming. There we go. And that will probably just tip us over the edge. How many... Tip us over the edge in a good way. Jobs filled 100%. Unemployed 13%. So we've got more people than we need at the moment. Well, that's good. Water's fine. Power is going to be a problem any second now. So we are also going to add... A geothermal generator right there. There we go. Yep. And yep. I bet the next message is we have a new request build a geothermal box. generator. Yeah, we're on it. We're on the case. And then what we'll do is we'll get that to conserve water and that will help us with our water as well. How's the storage going? Storage is okay. Just hoping we don't run out of people. Oh, housing capacity uses 100%. We've got nobody extra coming in yet. Jobs filled 80%. No unemployment. Excellent. And we're going to do that. Because we've got far more power than we actually need. And we're also going to do this. Just to make sure... Yeah, that seems fine. I'd like to recommend that you increase the amount of residential space in your colony. Well, you're nice at recommending stuff, aren't you? We don't actually have anybody coming in yet. Cause we have no trade centre, but... I suppose that's a good way to start. Build an apartment. Where should we put that? We could squeeze that in just here. It seems to be like a good spot. So let's pop that there. Hola, same to you. They're working hard. Well done. Thank you, guys. Okay, crops are still working. Insufficient power. Okay. Yes, we need tea, tea plantations. That's what we need. Oh man, the winter's really kicking in. Winter 0% growth. Okay. Oh, oops. We're doing okay. There we go. Immigration centre. So we need to start thinking about. I mean, planning for farms and stuff. It looks like pretty much everywhere is good for farms. So, not overly worried. Thinking about building. I mean, we need. I think we need to just keep heading out this way. Let's go out as far as we can, because we want to be going down here, don't we, to pick up wherever this mysterious object is. I haven't seen it yet. If you see it, put a comment below with the time index of where this mysterious object is. I'm assuming it's going to be by the lake here somewhere, right up here. But I've yet to see it. Up in the mountains. No, we can't build up there, can we? Hmm. Yeah, let me know if you've seen it anywhere. Leave a comment below. Insufficient power. What's that? Somebody lost what? Get some more people in there. Maybe not steam recovery mode. That might be better. We're getting enough water anyway. 
Yeah, let's manage it that way. Let's put an immigration centre here. So if you're new to my channel as well, don't forget to tune in tomorrow. Subscribe so you don't miss out on Daily Avon Colony. And you can see on the screen as well, lots of other indie games. We cover all sorts of things. There's always new games coming up and you don't want to miss those. The amount of comments I get from people saying, thank you again Biffa, you're making me spend more money because you found another amazing game. I must get comments like that every single day. <laughs> so there we go. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. And we're just about to complete the immigration centre. Let's wait for that. Here it comes. Done. I will see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.